Who are you? What are you doing? Get out of here! Mom! Lou? Lou? You okay? Okay, honey. Calm down. It's all right. We're just having another bad dream. I can't breathe. Yes, you can. You're fine. Just relax. Just take slow, deep breaths, nice and easy. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm trying, but I can't. Relax. Slow, deep breaths. I can't. Lou? Do you believe a spirit could be hurting your son? No, of course not. Because if he's been taught to believe that, it is possible for the fear alone to affect heart function. I'm an engineer. I know illnesses aren't caused by evil spirits. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just had to check. Holy crap. I don't know what you're talking about. It was clean when we left. You're telling us some random person broke into your house to dismember a pig in your son's bedroom? A pig? My father-in-law. What did you do? What you should have done weeks ago when the dream started. I'm saving Lou. He's coding. Need a doctor in here? The attack, no pulse. Oh my god. Push one milligram epi. Paddles, charge to 50. Charging. Clear. Still the attack. Charge to 100. 100. Clear. Charging. Wait, I'm almost on his rhythm. <coughs> Tell me about the luau in his bedroom. It's a traditional Hmong ceremony. It's supposed to call back the kid's soul. Has he heard of Star 69? There's more. The reason Grandpa thinks the kid's soul is stolen is because he's convinced his son, the kid's father, had his stolen as well. He beat his boss to death. The dad didn't move away. He's in prison. PTSD could definitely cause breathing problems. It's and not it, PTSD. Even if the kid wasn't there, just hearing what the dad did. But he hasn't. It happened when he was two, and all he's ever been told is that his parents divorced and his dad moved away. The heart thing indicates a malignant arrhythmia. He needs an EP study. How many of the other files showed malignant arrhythmias? None, but forget the EP. What about acute pericarditis? Explains the dyspnea. How many of the other files? It's exacerbated by lying supine, so the symptoms would get worse when he goes to sleep, just like all 100 of the others. Do an echo to check the pericardium. See if you can find any cardioactive toxins in the home samples. No, get away. Look, this needle isn't nearly as big as the one in your arm, and that didn't hurt, did it? I don't want it. They need to do it, Lou. You'll only feel a little pinch as we give you the numbing medicine. After that, you won't feel a thing. No! Lou, calm down. It's gonna be okay. What's he saying? What's the problem? I don't know. He's saying it's too late. There's nothing we can do. It's Mong. He doesn't speak Mong. He's never even heard it. It isn't him speaking. It's the Da. He sees it. Um, oh my god. Need some lorazepam in here? Dang Tong Li Dua. It means you're a bunch of pathetic idiots at Mong. Or it doesn't. But you wouldn't know, because none of you speak Hmong. Kid, on the other hand, is presumably fluent in gibberish. The grandfather speaks Hmong. He translated. He heard what he wanted to hear. Because if his grandson really is possessed, that means his son really is possessed, which is a giant step up from being a sledgehammering psychopath. Whatever it was preceded a seizure, it's obviously a neurological symptom. Scleroderma advanced to the point that it's affecting his brain? The doctors say my brain is sick. Your doctors are trying their best, but they're not looking in the right place. You know, I know this is a lot to put on an eight-year-old, but you have angered our ancestors by ignoring them. Now, do you remember how to talk to them? Yeah, that's right. Good. Now, close your eyes, and we will ask for forgiveness together.
you're doing good. But we have to do more. The evil spirits are in the air, and the only way to stop them is by stopping the air. You have to be brave. I'm not trying to hurt you. This will help you. I know it will. Lou? Are you okay? I can't wake him up. Lou? Lou? You're safe? You're in the hospital. He's not here, honey. It was just a dream. He was choking me! No, Lou. It wasn't real. It was. He grabbed my neck. Those bruises weren't there before. Liver failure can cause gibberish from encephalopathy, constipation, bruising, and breathing problems. Hepatic fibrosis could hit someone his age. So let's hit his liver. Get a biopsy. God. Was he? Yes. But hypocalcemia could. And the enema we administered to cure his constipation had a high phosphorus load, which could make him transiently hypocalcemic. It's a long shot. At least it has the benefit of being rational. We'll pump up his electrolytes and start beta blockers. Nothing you've done has helped. If you don't start and he has another seizure, the neurological damage could be permanent. My father-in-law. He thinks the calling ceremony didn't work because Lou wasn't there. And you think he's right? I don't know. I'm sorry, but there's no way we can allow him to perform an exorcism in your son's hospital room. Then I will have to take him home. Her kid levitated. That happens to my girl. I'm expanding my diagnostic horizons. It's all the more reason why we should shut down. We cure this kid now, crazy grandpa and his magic beads get all the credit. And since when do you care about credit? Since when do I care about this kid? All I care about is sending mommy out into the world, having faith in faith. Kid's better off dead. As soon as she's done appeasing the gods, let's talk. What about Kawasaki? Explains the irregular heartbeat, respiratory distress, and seizures. It fits. Which means he needs a coronary bypass. It can't be Kawasaki. Echo would have shown it. But a patent ductus arteriosus... It can't be a PDA. He's not an infant, nor has he had any symptoms for eight years. Maybe he has. He had an infected ductus, which we inadvertently treated with antibiotics. So no evidence is evidence of evidence? I'm just saying, it's consistent. It's a billion to one. Which means there are seven people in the world who fit the diagnosis. I thought we were looking for a hundred. Well, maybe PDA is more common than we thought, with idiot doctors like you. You're wrong. But the treatment's just ibuprofen. Closes a malformed duct. Worst case scenario, he just doesn't get better. We need to put him on the OR schedule. His BP's dropping. He's crashing. Call a code. You need to stop this. I'm giving him the ibuprofen. He's gonna be okay. It worked. Um, no, it didn't. Mrs. Chang, the medicine I administered was a long-shot treatment for Lou's heart, but that's what's helping him. Ibuprofen? That's for headaches. I know it seems hard to believe, but it's true. And I know this seems hard for you to believe. Honey, Grandpa was right. 
He saved you. There were two things we thought were impossible. One of them wasn't. That's all we know. <laughs>